Place looks great, Gil. Really turned it around. Got a big crew, too. Some of them are a little young. It's a you pick it, Oscar. Huh? I was losing money hand over fist. Then I put up a you pick it sign at the side of the road. Now people pay me to harvest the berries. Holy hell. There's plenty of carrots over there. Fill up your bags. <laughs> My garden. The stuff was going to waste just buried in the ground. Look, I got almost 30 bucks. It's gonna cost you a lot more than that. I uh, took a shrub. I hope that's okay. <laughs> you can tell me that your dog ran away. Then tell me that it took three days. I've heard every joke. I've heard everyone you say. You think there's not a lot? I'm just saying I should be able to wear earrings. Not on the job. In a struggle, the earrings give the other guy the advantage. Hank, if I wore earrings, do you think you could take me in a fight? Well, that depends. If I got to jump on you, I'd... <coughs> You'd choke me. <coughs> You'd pretend to choke. <coughs> I think he is choking. We should do that thing, uh, the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> Did you say Heimlich maneuver? It's Heimlich with an M. I did say Heimlich, didn't I? <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> it's spelled with an M. You said it with an N. I know, what's my deal? <laughs> Remember that time I said irregardlessly? <laughs> <laughs> Saved my life. Yeah. What's that make it the eighth time? First time with a pickle. Well, sweet pickle. Don't you guys know how to do the Heimlich maneuver? We know how to say it. Yeah, wash this off. That's right. Safety first. Lacey, true or false? Your health is important to you. Okay, I'll pay for the magazine. You don't have to threaten me. No, I mean, as a busy professional, you don't always have time to eat. Wanda, I work in a kitchen surrounded by food all day. Yeah, but you don't want to eat that crap. That's why you need organo meal replacement bars. Made in Uzbekistan. Really? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the Uzbekians. They really know how to replace a meal. What, are you selling bars now? It's a job I've taken up. But I pay you to work here. And I still do. But now I have a job at work. Do you want to sell them at the Ruby? If I sign you up as a rep, I get them at a reduced rate. OK. Is this one of those pyramid scams? No. It's a multi-level marketing scam. Man, these don't have nougat in them or anything. It's got soy. That's like the anti-nougat. If nougat and soy were ever to touch, we'd all be vaporized. I don't agree with Brent's vaporizing theory, but I do have a bad feeling about these. Great, so I should sign you up for what? Two dozen boxes? How about I just leave? How about you? I only replace meals with other meals. You call yourselves police officers, but you don't have a basic understanding of first aid? Very disappointed in you. What about you? Do you know first aid? I thought she did. I'm sending you both to the city to take a first aid course this weekend. So you don't know first aid either? Nope. I had a feeling about you. Mm, I had the same feeling about you. I was just afraid to say anything. If people knew about this... They won't know. I'll pick you up Saturday morning, we'll go to the hotel. We'll be back to work on Monday. Okay. See you, partner. I think Karen and Davis might be having some kind of thing. A fling. A, a secret... Romantic fling thing. Fling thing? In a house with a mouse? I'm serious. They have a relationship. 
In a box with a fox? Okay, you know what? You can doubt it if you want, but they are going to a hotel together this weekend. Really? Mm-hmm. That is weird. I wonder how they'll get there. On a plane? On a train? On a boat with a goat? Do you know anything that rhymes with immature? Legislature? So have you figured out how you're going to pay for all this? I don't have to pay for it. I can do it myself. I already fixed your shrubs. Yeah. About that? You planted them upside down. Well, how am I supposed to know how they go? You got all these stupid rules. You and Karen, you've been through a lot together. Must make you closer to a person. I guess you can say we've been in some sticky situations. I'm out of stickies. Here. Thanks. This door is sticky. Can't help. Hands are all sticky. What's that in the ditch? Is that a stick? Well, it's sticky. Are we heroes? I'd say yes. Well, I think it's nice. And don't worry, I am very discreet. What was that about? Going on about how we're heroes. Hmm. Must be desperate for tips. <laughs> normally, we hire Hank to do the census. I got experience. On the other hand, normally Hank screws it up somehow. Granted. On the other, other hand, Oscar, you're Oscar. So, you can see my dilemma. But I need the cash. Shrubs don't grow on trees. We'll decide the scientific way, with an aptitude test. Is this the kind of thing where I have to fill a cup? No, no, it's a written test. Hand me the cup. Okay, time's up. Let's see how you did, Hank. Through a picture of a caveman. It's a shark. And Oscar. I've been reading a copy of Chatelaine from 1983. I was figuring out my sass factor. Well, I call that a tie. Congratulations, you're both hired. Just because a shark's holding the club doesn't mean he's a caveman. By the way, I feel this. Okay, look, I want you to quit this job. Really? Well, I suppose it would give me more time to concentrate on selling these bars. It's been a slice. What, what, no, whoa, whoa. I mean, quit the bar one. I mean, seriously, how much can you make selling soy non-nougat bars? Holy moly. Holy moly? Who are you? Little Abner? Sorry, I get wholesome when I'm flustered. That's a lot of cash. See? This is how much I could make if I sign up some reps to work for me. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Well, look, if you're hiring, I, I could sell these bars for you. I mean, I, I love soy. I'm like a soyaholic. Gee, Willow Curse, that's tasty. Would you like me to teach you some grown-up curse words? I got lots. Let's get one thing straight. I work alone, and I don't need some hotshot whiz kid telling me how to count people. I know how it goes down. You don't know how it goes down. You don't even know when it goes down. It just went down. You didn't even know. You don't know me, where I'm from, what my sass factor is. It doesn't matter. Out here, it's different. You need to forget everything you learned in training. What training? I like your attitude. Let's make this happen. Don't feel bad, Davis. Every first aid course has a winner, and every first aid course has a loser. Why do you have to turn everything into a contest? Not everything has to be a bet. Hey, let's make this into a contest. Whoever does better wins, like a bet. A deal's a deal. You had to buy me earrings, and I get to wear them to work. Hope you choke on a pickle. You can replace a whole meal with these. You saying my cooking's bad? No, I'm, I'm saying sometimes you might rather eat a pressed bar of soy from Uzbekistan. Stay away from me. Thanks, Mom. Hey, still don't believe me about Karen and Davis? I so don't believe you. My disbelief is like an iron fortress of disbelief, patrolled by Superman. 
And he doesn't believe you either. Check it out. Here's your stupid earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sucker. Good gravy. I guess Superman should spin his webs on back to the Batcave. You don't read a lot of comic books, do you? Evening, ma'am. Census. We'd just like to ask you a few questions. Head count. One and a half. Let's go. Head count? What kind of hotshot stunt was that? It worked, didn't it? Yeah, it worked this time. You're lucky. Go wait in the truck. Head count. I'll give you this, rookie. You got guts. Okay. How are the numbers up there, people? Let's hear from Team A. Uh, I'm, I'm the only one here. Let's go. You're wasting everybody's time. Oh, okay. well, I didn't know we were going to do this so soon. Uh, okay, well, uh, looking at the raw data and rounding up, uh, zero. Wow. Disappointing results from Team A. Remember, there is no I in team. I'm the only one on the team. And you wonder why you failed. Everyone else, Team A is a good example of what not to do. Okay, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Okay, okay, wait. I've got something even you should be able to sell. Chocolate organo bars? How can something chocolate be good for you? It's a trick, isn't it? Are bats going to fly out of this? You always think bats are going to fly out of everything. Wouldn't put it past them. Sleep all upside downy. Rule number one. Never use your own stash. Can I feed this to my team? I remember this place. They give me trouble every year. What do we do? Follow my play. How many people in the house, ma'am? 27 and a monkey. Oscar, don't waste my time. You think this is a joke? This is the census, lady. Look, don't make me mad. I'll fly off the handle. I'll lose it. I'll snap. OK. Calm down, pal. My partner's a loose cannon. I can't control him. Help yourself out while you still can. How many people here? It's going to be one if you don't get off my step. OK. We got it. Let's roll. I like your new root bush. This is humiliating. My partner, Constable Jangle Ears. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of my ears jangling. Laugh if you want. But people are going to be weirded out by this. Karen, I like those earrings. Pretty classy. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Did I say the wrong thing? He's a little sensitive right now. I'm sorry. I said that I would be discreet. What? I shouldn't have said anything. Oh. I gotta hand it to you, Rook. You weren't half bad out there. Remember we went to that one house and they asked how many people there were? And then they told us? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that stuff up. <laughs> Three and a half people. That's all you counted? You're both fired. You don't know how it goes down in the street. You sit here behind your desk. I don't have a desk. It's a door on two filing cabinets. Oh. Well, you should have one. You're the mayor. If he goes, I go. I want you to go. I'm firing you both. I can't do it without him. You can't do it with him. You're both fired. So... When do we meet our new partners? I want to apologize about yesterday. Oh, the soup wasn't that bad. I mean, it was kind of salty. That was really salty. OK, <laughs> you're saying bad things about my soup. But I understand it's only because you're hurting. Huh? About what I said to you and Davis. I said that I'd be discreet, and then yesterday, I hit a sore spot. Is this about my earrings? I am going to make a special dinner tonight. Why don't you come, bring Davis, and you guys can work things out? Huh. Well, all right. 
But no soup. Again, it's irrational that you'd say bad things about my soup. <laughs> but go ahead. Vent. And don't worry, I'll be discreet. Hmm. Here's a phrase you don't normally hear yelled across a room. What's up with jangle ears? Karen and Davis had a fight. I think they might break up. Oh, well, maybe it's for the best. But it's love. You don't know that. I'm making a romantic dinner tonight to try and help win Davis back. You know, it can be really hard on a relationship when you try and keep it secret. I hear you, sister. Lacey's cooking a romantic dinner for Davis. Yeah? She said she's trying to win him back. Uh huh. She said it's hard to keep a romance secret. What are you nattering about? Put the pieces together. Romantic dinner? Win him back? Secret romance? You're fired, Oscar. That Fitzy's a jackass. What? Oh, give me a second. <laughs> That's better. Yep, census, it's a young man's game. You gotta watch your health. I mean, I almost choked on a pickle. I know I was there. No, after that. You choked on another pickle? No, same one. So, what's new in the world of civilians? Well, I run a gas station now. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah? Did you know that Karen and Davis are dating each other? What? No. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Yep. Heard it right from the horse's mouth. All right, I heard it from Lacey. There was no talking horse. But they're like brother and sister. That's like Donnie dating Marie. It's gross. That's coming from a guy who re-eats pickles. Oh, I gotta go walk this off. Hey, Brent, I'm gonna need you to deliver an order to the Lipinski farm. I don't want to go all the way out there. An order is an order. The only way a business works is if you follow the chain of command. All right. Well, clean the freezer while I'm gone. Yeah, right. Make another wish. Here, two boxes of Organa bars. Here's your box of Organo bars. I thought there was supposed to be two. I just ate one box. Trust me, you don't want to eat two. Look, I've been thinking about the earrings, and maybe they are sort of weirding people out. Here. What am I going to do with stupid earrings? Just don't wear them on the job. Really? Thanks, Davis. Davis gave earrings to Karen. You mean to Lacey? No, Karen. She's the blonde one. To Karen? Davis is playing the field, that dirty dog. A cop with earrings. Another way Fitzy's letting this town go to hell in a handbasket. A handbasket yet. Census. Census? But Fitzy already came by. Fitzy? <laughs> I'm doing my own census. How many people here? <laughs> I'm a loose cannon. <laughs> I can't control me. <laughs> you ate a whole box? How is that even possible? Well, not the wrappers. And the box itself is still fine. I never should have hired you. You're right. This is your fault. Well, back to work. You know, that kind of sloppiness might be okay here at work, but not on the job. You're fired? Oh, yeah? Well, if I can't do my job here at work, then neither can you. Fine. Fine. So it's a stalemate, then. Indeed. Sure is a lot of free time here when neither one of us is working. Yeah, it takes you back, doesn't it? Yeah. more people. Well, that wouldn't be very romantic. Romantic? That food looks good. Come on. <laughs> Emma, we're closed. This will just take a minute. Lacey, I don't know how to tell you this, but Davis has been seeing Karen. I know. You know. And yet you're still doing this for him? Lacey, have you no self-respect? He's not worth it. Worth what? Oh, I have fish. Hank, we're closed. I just got something to say. Karen, don't come here trying to win Davis back. He's two-timing you with Lacey. 
What? Breadstick? No, thank you. Just move on, Karen. It's over. I said we'll have a breadstick. Thank you. Davis didn't leave Karen for me. No, he left you for Karen. Jeez, Davis, how many girlfriends you got? I don't know. Told you it'd get weird. Pass it, Zoro. Who cares what the population is? It's just a number. It's not just a number. There's a higher purpose. Yeah, folks on the highway need to know how many people they're driving past. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to unveil the results of this year's census, which I had to do myself. Dog River's population is exactly... No! Don't listen to Fetsy. I got the results of the real census. The people census. Well, what is it? About 500. Oscar. Maybe he's right. Yeah, this town does have about 500 people. Oscar's a hero. You've done me proud, Rook. You've done me proud. <laughs> Want to have a gas online? Visit us at Corner Gas.